And we are live. And we are live. And you ever wanted just to punch technology if it was actual person? Wouldn't that be fun? Just a technology. Yeah, because just couldn't get on the uh, the page. It just it wouldn't do it. So yeah. Okay. So we pick up where we left off. And this poem right here talks about uh, somebody who has been in a relationship and, you know, things change in how she, you know, saw him. And Well, how I did. I mean, it's, it's one of those weddings. So just, just hold on. You used to believe he hung the painted stars just for you. A crooked moon he gave you was, it was a sad feeling when he left you. As you tried to wipe away the fingerprints that lined your heart, they were a reminder of how he tasted on your lips all those memories that rolled through the darkness of your head. All those times you kissed him in the rain where those same raindrops washed away tears and shed in silence just to forget his touch but it all comes crashing down like some tide when you catch his scent on the air or in your bed you want to walk back into his life only goodbyes are harder when he's standing at the altar without you you say still I rise only to fall back into the memories of wanting a lover who walked away from all you had because he wanted more than you could ever give other than your heart. And uh, this is basically uh, based off of a friend of mine. Uh, she went to a tough uh, relationship. You know, going bouncing back and forth and everything. Collage of Hearts. He collected a collage of hearts, searching for the one whose heartbeat matched his. To no avail, he changed his rhythm to match hers and found himself dying in the arms of beauty whose erratic beat sustained his life. And it's basically, uh, I was looking at this about where um, the guy basically changed how he did things to be able to match her. And that was the what that what took for him to be able to reach her, or to find her, basically. And this song, I mean, this poem, poem right here, is basically uh, a yearning poem, where you're yearning to want to be with somebody or be free or, or. Wanting someone. I sing a sorrow of a soul yearning to break free of the shackles holding her back. From spreading her gossamer wings of thread woven lace and blues. She's like grains of sand shifting through the hourglass. Riding waves of satin making dreams of mystique beauty come to life. With the touch of her hands and the warmth of her skin now stretched arms welcome tarred souls for a lover's embrace tasting her lips a divine wine laced with passion and merlot a bittersweet connection tasting smoky wine of embers in her kiss as you trace jewels of her back of her back with your fingertips and uh, this next poem right here is if you look at how it's how it is done right here well here uh, basically it was a word prompt that you had to do where you had to write it out in single line so every word had to fit every line I fall deeper into you so far I can't feel myself anymore even when I breathe in you 
or breathe you in. And that one right there was just basically just trying to, to make something straight and uh, feeling everyone every one of those things is because that's what they wanted. And this right here, this poem is about red flags. And so the things you feel uh, when you, whether it's a friendship or a relationship, uh, those are the things that you deal with. Dancing red flags, it was chaos falling recklessly for you. But I was hooked by the mystery and the magic of your gaze. I was set to crash upon your shore. So basically, you know, it's just a, uh, Look at the red flag, you know, the red, you know, the, you know, having a rip tie and the red flag warnings and all that. Yeah, this one's called "If uh, Love of Fate." When you fall in love, the mew comes out of the words you speak and write upon her pages. While losing my religion, every time my pen falls into spaces where my love rushes in to fill your heart. And this right here. Was just me playing around with the muse uh, term and uh, just just doing different things, just trying to uh, basically for almost a filler, but not always. And this one right here is about a little voice in your head and one of the things you think about. You know, just different thoughts. You know, that's it. Have conver you know, you know, conversations or thoughts when you lie awake at night, just looking at the ceiling, thinking about sh you know stuff. And this one's called "A Little Voice Speaks from the Silence." On my lips, I pretend are pressed against the silhouette of your body. It's the only thing that gets me through the darkness of the night without you. I don't belong here with my only blanket. Is a cover of a shadow. My body seeks out the warmth of your figure, but nothing compares the feeling of you wrapped up beneath the covers. And it's basically you thinking about what it was like being. And for me, it's sort of what it's like being next to a woman. And so, like, yeah, because you you long for those things that you went to don't no, not there anymore because you want to be with somebody. Because it's a little bit more than just sex. It's just the intimacy of being with somebody and being close to them. Rather than just just being. So. This next one's called Lying in the Meadow. Lying in the meadow with you as April showers drench our bodies with kisses. Funny oceans many miles away while tasting your kisses mixed with the tears of angels. Uh, and this poem was written about a, a thing, it was basically a little snippet I saw uh, a while back on Instagram where it said that how blessed are we that the ocean sends, sends kisses to us even though it's millions and many miles away. And this talks about how raindrops are like the kisses of an ocean. And I mean, if you look at that, because a friend of mine was uh, uh, a friend of mine was telling me about how uh, whenever we have these uh, hurricanes that come in, you can always you know taste the salt in the air. Well, at least you could. Which, you know, I'm just like, mm, no, never really thought about that. But you know, that's just me, though. Uh, this one's called "There's So uh, There's So Much." There's so much to these feelings I feel whenever I touch. Whenever, wherever it touches a reaction to a deep emotion I feel for you. Skin deep motions drown down to my soul. And I feel it in my bones every time. Every time I touch you. But my body aches just to feel you. Touch me, kiss me with the same passion, the same way you breathe. The way we make love, exposing your embers so I can fan the flames of your desire one more time. Show me that you thirst for me. For my everything like I do for you, that you are, that you are driven by your emotions, that you are driven by your emotions, your sensuality, and I want to express it with so much more words, but with your fingers, your body, show me, I am not alone in wanting to build a memory 
of your essence as our souls write messages along our bodies. And this right here talks about uh, just the passion of being with somebody and when you're having those sensual moments together because you're you know, this is not dealing in, you know, diving into sex, but just diving into the person and who they are and building on the passion that's there instead of just the, the sexual thing. And this one right here is about, um, was a word prompt. And basically, it's about the moon. And it's called The Moon Rises. The moon rises in your eyes when our lips touch. And I feel weightless. Just from a kiss, from a touch, a feeling of love beneath the stars. And a lot of these that I do for the word prompts. Uh, just basically just something just put out there a lot of times um, so they, um, you know you can only post one per person or per, po uh, per poet so that's why I just a lot of times it's just one but if you're able to do multiple I can build on that and do other ones but this you know, is just a one one off kind of thing and this one's called if I would have known if I had known all the trouble you caused, I would have left you alone. Instead of being caught up in the storm of you. I wish I never met you, but the illusion you portrayed was too convincing to ignore. So I fell for you in all your lies. At least I can use those red flags to float. And it's just, uh, you know, thoughts of past relationships, you know, where you, you, ignore those red flags or you you wish that you didn't meet that person but there's a reason why you met that person because that person showed you something that you did not know that you had to overcome within yourself because for me I had to meet my I had to meet my ex fiance because after those things after our relationship ended you know the things that came out of it was it made it made me a better person because I sought to change myself and follow my dreams and build on those dreams. And that's why, you know, I published nine books of poetry, which that the book just dropped today. I haven't posted it yet. Wish that I would get it out there. And we're going to do uh, two more poems, and then I'll have to uh, let you go so I can finish working on the uh, paperback. And this one's called Pudding and Sweet Cakes. Pudding and sweet cakes that slap together like flapjacks and maple syrup. But I like my food dipped in honey because there's always room for dessert. When you're on the menu, a little whipped cream topping drizzled with sprinkles, cherries, and some pineapple slices making you a, into a sundae. Slipping and sliding along the frosting, uh, frosted curves as you squirm from the chill of the ice cream on your delicate form because I'm going to use my tongue and share the treat of licking you clean. And that was for an erotic poem that, came, that I had that I did for erotic you know, word prompt and you know, using um, different food or different in you know, erotic and says, yes, yeah, it's weird, I know. But it is what it is. You know, whatever floats your boat. Let's play a game. This one's called Let's play a game where I draw your figure with my pen, tracing over your body, making rubbings of each curve as I explore the twists and turns and bumps and mysteries of, the body, of your body with ink. Can I love on you with each stroke of my pen as it glides along your lips, down your neck, to your breast, just tracing the outline of your body because your my memory is spotty where, from where, the wear of time. I want to remember your body as it speaks to me with sensual desire while we make love. And I take notes to remember your beauty. And that poem was basically written um, about a muse, you know, for me, you know, like a muse kind of thing, because um, that's no woman in my life, so that's got to come up with something, you know. But basically, that's what that calls upon. 
So, next week, I will be here for you guys. Remember, check out um, Jenna Jinx Portraits on Instagram. She's on Long Run Facebook, so Instagram if you want a commission for her. Check out Cast It Into the Fire by Sarah Aikenhead and Bill Miller Rowland. Uh, they're still doing uh, the podcast. They did a podcast about the the Lord of the Rings, I think, in 1985 or so. As I saw the thing, wasn't able to listen to it today. I had to listen to it tomorrow. But definitely check them out. There, she is turning out podcasts at a very <laughs> at a good clip. I think, you know, like, you know, I've seen two or three from her in a week, but she is definitely putting up a lot of content, so you won't be bored uh, wanting to find something and or something to listen to. Definitely check out uh, Aria and Brian, uh, their uh, their place, uh, Energix, Yin Yang Energix, and uh, Alberta Hardison, and her, uh, find her for uh, her reggae. Uh, Dwight Kirk and his football so until next week next Sunday same time 730 I will see you then y'all have a good weekend and be safe